Hello, this is the Language Cafe. Welcome to my site, my channel. I'm Edgar Montoya, the host and the owner of this channel. This channel is going to be, if you can see my introduction, it's going to be about English and Spanish and language and idioms and uh, a lot of fun things about language, English and Spanish mostly, but also a little bit talking about um, other languages, funny things, unusual things, just the fun part of language. Uh, I wanted to share a little bit today from my book that I talked about in another video, my first published book, I plan on working on others, called English Made in America. I have a trivia section at the end of this book, and I love trivia. It's trivia about language. I wanted to share a few with you. I hope you would be interested. This book is available, in case you're interested. Uh, I recommend it. Some people have written good reviews about it, and I've sold a few copies. This came out in January of 2018. I sold a few copies even in Europe, but a couple in Japan. It came out in uh, January 2018, and it's available on Amazon. I'd like to share a few from the end of the book about uh, language trivia, about a few different languages, not just English. Did you know there are 7,000 languages spoken in the world today? 7,000, at least of 2000, as of 2018. Now languages die, I hear languages die all the time, including old languages, dialects, they go away, they, uh, they end, because sometimes, uh, I heard the other day, I saw something about, uh, there was one language in the world where only one person alive today still speaks it. So when that, when that man dies, that language is probably gone unless somebody kept some historical records of it, then it'll go, it'll go to history, you know. Another good one is, uh, like I said here, one language dies about every 14 days. That's hard to believe. The Bible is available in 2,454 languages, the most of any book. Second most is Pinocchio. Let me see. Another one here. Welsh is spoken in two countries. Welsh, you know, the, the kind of language spoken in Wales. Have any idea where is the other country where it's, it's spoken at all? Argentina. In 18, in the, I think about 1865, I heard many Welsh people moved to Argentina, established a colony in the Patagonia, and they decided to choose uh, to continue to, to hold on to Welsh as their first language there. So it's just two countries, well, Wales and Argentina where Welch is spoken. The famous saying, Veni Vidi Vici. Anybody know what that means from Latin? It's attributed to Julius Caesar. It means I came, I saw, I conquered. I know you probably all know this ice cream in Italian. The word is gelato. The teddy bear. I don't know if you know who the teddy bear was named after. It was named after a president, after Teddy Roosevelt. So they called it the teddy bear. Dreamt, D-R-E-A-M-T, -E is the only word that ends in the English language with M-T. The word champagne means open country. Comet comes from the Greek word meaning long-haired star. Karate, or karate as we pronounce in English, means empty hand in Japanese. Alphabet comes from the first two letters of the Greek alphabet, alpha and beta. Here's a good one, the last one actually from the book says, the word porpoise, referring to the sea mammal, comes from two Latin words, porcus and Pisces, which together means pork fish. The Romans called the porpoise, porcus marinus, pig of the sea. I love trivia. I hope you do. I have some good trivia in here uh, toward the end of the book. And also, throughout, basically throughout the book, there's a lot of good things you'll learn, interesting, fun things about language, things that will make you go, wow, I didn't know that. Um, talking a lot about foreign languages too, comparing them to American idioms as well. Okay, just a little sharing, a little trivia with you. Uh, thanks for watching again the Language Cafe. Uh, bye for now.